Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about aligning drawings in Blender. This is a follow-up from our series about how to use Blender as a CAD tool and today I want to cover how to uh, emulate or simulate uh, one of the AutoCAD's uh, most used commands or most useful commands called align. Let me show you what I have here and how we'll be uh, following up with the tutorial. I have here a wall drawing or model, if you want to call it, and an AutoCAD block that I imported as a DXF. It was actually a DWG that I converted to DXF and imported to Blender. If I show the scene in wireframe, you will see it better. And if I press F12, this is how it, it renders. And as you can see, I already have everything set to render as a technical drawing. I have the wall and the AutoCAD block. My problem here is that I want to align this sofa drawing to this uh, wall. What is the angle for this wall? If I'm not mistaken, is uh, 129 degrees with uh, about that. But I don't want to measure it. I don't want to have to rotate. Uh, the sofa, I want Blender to align it automatically to the wall. And in AutoCAD, we have a modifier called Align that gives me an option to select, for instance, a point from the, from the model or the drawing and align it to two reference locations. And I want to do exactly this here in Blender. But to do this, we need an add-on. And it's a free add-on. Let me close this. I will put this to in top view, aligning with our camera, and we can go look for the add-on. And the name of this add-on is Mesh Align Plus. How can we install that? Since uh, since we are in Blender 4.2, we can go into the edit preferences and come here into get extensions make sure you have add-ons selected and if you type align you will see that we have mesh align plus i will hit the install button it will install the add-on and it will appear here on the side this is the align option and one thing about this add-on is that it has a lot of options if you expand all of this all of the sections here you will see that it can uh, align many many different types of drawings using uh, lots of different uh, references what i will be using here is align uh, lines with uh, the easy mode we don't need expert mode how it works let's uh, get started to see how it works here with mesh align plus First thing we need is to set this button here, start alignment. But to get started, I have to select the object that I want to align, go into edit mode, and I will select two reference points. Let's try this one here, and we can try this one here. Hit the start alignment, and now I will press this align to active, when I have an active uh, vertex selected in my destination uh, shape or line or edge, anything that you need, we'll be using the wall. So I will go to object mode, select the wall, and I will select this point and this point here. Notice that this is the first point that I selected and this is the last one, which is the active vertex in my uh, selection. If I press the align to active, it will align the sofa. Now, what is the logic behind uh, the alignment process? Let me show you how it works. If you don't remember, I will just undo here my alignment. And uh, I selected my first point as this one, and the last one was this uh, uh, white dot. And from the wall, 
my active vertex is at the top and this was my first selected point. What the plugin or what the add-on is actually doing is aligning this point here with this location and it's using the white or the active vertex as a reference to make the alignment. Let's invert that uh, just to show you an example. I will start another alignment, but now I will invert my selection. I will start selecting from this point here, and this will be my last point. And as you can see, it will place this point now. Let me erase this, those lines here from Grease Pencil. And what we'll be actually doing, it will take this point here and place the sofa in this location, and it will point or align this other reference vertex to this point here. Let's align to source. And as you can see, it will invert the sofa location. This is the logic behind uh, using the align. Uh, this is how the mesh align plus works. And it is basically the same thing that the align command from AutoCAD does. And you can use it to align your drawings in something like a CAD drawing that you are trying to create here in Blender. Let me undo this and I will align it again to the correct location since I want to align our sofa to the wall. I've selected this one first, this one last, align to active. And now I can press the G key, something quite standard place the sofa here you can even align the sofa with the center of this wall since we are already uh, at the correct angle you can press g you can press the b key to get a snap base i will get this point and the middle location for the wall and you can even move the uh the sofa drawing just a uh, just a bit far away just uh to get it uh away from the wall, like five or 10 centimeters. If I press G, Y, Y to move it on the local axis, I will press minus 0 0.1. If I press F12, we have our drawing, just like in AutoCAD. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the, the tutorial. If you find it useful, uh, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the following uh, of the following tutorials in this series uh, using Blender as a cat tool. And if you like, and if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up so other people uh, can find this uh, reference. See you next time. Bye.